Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm an educator with Nature Collective, and I'm here to share with you a routine that will help you become a better observer. And when I say an observer, what does it take to be a good observer? And while you're thinking about that, what do you know about your own observation skills? So as we go through this routine today, I'm hoping that by the end, you find some tools and some new skills that help you become a better observer. Before we start, I need you to find a nature item that's small enough and fits in your palm of your hand. I happen to pick a leaf from my backyard. So you could find something outside, but you also could find something inside. So feel free to get a leaf, maybe it's a feather, possibly a flower. If I was getting something from inside, maybe I have a collection of rocks or a house plant, even a piece of fruit or a vegetable would work. So what I'd like you to do is to pause the video, find your item, and come back to me as soon as possible. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you went ahead and found something cool to observe today. The very first step in our routine is I notice. And basically, I notice is what I observe. And when I observe, I wanna use all of my senses. So not just what I see but also what I hear, what I smell, what I taste, and possibly also what I feel. For this I noticing, this leaf I got from my backyard, I'm not going to taste it. I don't know that it's safe for me to do so. However, if you ended up getting something from your refrigerator, that might be something that you could taste as one of your noticings. So it's really important that when we're out in nature, when we're not tasting things we really don't know something about. In this routine, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I notice that my leaf is kind of a greenish gray color. Another thing I notice is that it has texture on this back. This is kind of up, much more than the front is nice and smooth. The other thing I notice is that this has a strong smell. So now it's your turn. I wonder what you'll notice. You're gonna pause the video and you're gonna say to yourself out loud, I notice, and some things that you're observing about your item using all of your senses. It's important you say it out loud because in saying it out loud, you're helping your brain to remember and hold on to that information. So pause the video and make your eye notice, and I will see you in a minute. Hi, did you notice some things that you wouldn't have before because you slowed down and took a minute? Well, let's go on to the second step. So the second step in this routine is I wonder, and basically that has to deal with what questions I have about what I'm observing. And it's important we ask as many questions as possible and not have to worry about getting any of those answers. We just want to be curious. A wondering I have about my leaf is that smell. Is it something to go ahead and attract something to the plant? Or possibly is it to go ahead and keep something away? I also had noticed that I had this little like divot in the side of this leaf. It doesn't look like it's really part of this structure, so I'm wondering if something actually was eating it. Another wondering I have is why is it so soft? So many leaves are a lot stiffer and thicker, and this one is so soft. So what are some things you're wondering about your object? Again, pause the video. You wanna say, I wonder, and whatever your question is out loud and come back to me after about a minute. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. I hope you had lots of wonderings and questions. Maybe there's something that you actually wanna further research when we're done. The last step in this routine is what does this remind me of? And I'm really trying to think about what kind of connections do I have in regards to my own personal experience that I can make to this leaf. In doing so, it really helps me remember this nature item. In regards to that, I could be thinking about what does it remind me of 
in regards to its color, possibly its shape, maybe how it feels, how it smells. If I think about something this reminds me of, that smell is really minty. And even though it's not a peppermint or a spearmint, it's definitely some kind of mint. Another thing it reminds me of is when I look to this and all of these lines, it looks very similar to those of a feather. But the other thing that reminds me of are all these little tributaries or streams that end up meeting and going into a larger river or body of water, kind of like a watershed. So take the time now, last time to pause, and go ahead and think about what is it that your item reminds you of? Take a minute or so and come back to me after. Welcome back. I hope you found some really interesting things that your item happened to remind you of. And those are the steps in the I notice, I wonder. It reminds me of routine. Think about all the things you ended up learning about your nature item from just asking yourself those three questions. And then look around and think of all the amazing things there are to discover in the world around us. So I'm hoping that you will continue to practice your I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of routine make lots of observations and take the time to see what nature has to offer around you and to continue to be curious.